Hi there, just one of my quick logic tutorials. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the time and pitch machine to adjust the speed um, of a piece of audio. So, first of all, let's go ahead um, and make a new audio track, create, um, and I'm simply just going to record myself hitting the table um, in time with the metronome to 120 BPM. Um, to make things really simple. So here I go. Okay, I'm just going to cut the end of that piece of audio. So we've got a nice four bar loop there. Um, right, the next thing um, we need to do, um, we just need to get go down to our effects um, inputs here um, go metering BPM counter um, and it will bring up this window here um, which when we play the audio it will count um, the beats per minute um, effectively Okay, so it's coming up with 119, 120, roughly uh, BPM, which is good, which is what we want. Um, then what we need to do is click on the piece of audio, double click it. Um, it will come up in track, um, but I've just done this before, so uh, what you'll need to do is press File, fun uh, Functions, yeah, Time and Pitch Machine. Um, and what you want to do is input the tempo um, that the BPM count has just given. Um, so what we'll do is go 120.3. There we go. And let's make a nice big noticeable difference. So we'll go to 160 BPM. Let's go to 160.3 just to make that. A 40 BPM difference. Um, then you want to do process and paste. Okay, that should have worked it out um, just right. And then if we play this, it should be um, a little bit faster. Just listen without the metronome. And that is faster. And that's how you um, that is how you uh, use the time and pitch machine within Logic Pro X uh, to change a piece of audio BPM. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.